The prehistoric era was filled with amazing creatures that roamed the Earth. Among these ancient animals, the Deinosuchus stands out as an apex predator of its day. The term Deinosuchus is derived from the Greek words Deinos and Sukos, which mean terrible crocodile. Deinosuchus ruled the vast waterways and maze-like river networks of North America between 82 and 73 million years ago. It was a time when the continents were still shifting towards their modern positions, and the land masses on Earth were very different from what we know now. North America was divided by the Western Interior Seaway, a vast inland sea that stretched from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic Ocean, effectively splitting the continent into two land masses, Laramidia to the west and Appalachia to the east. In 1858, geologist Ebenezer Emmons made the initial discovery of Deinosuchus when he found two large teeth fossils in Bladen County, North America. However, these teeth were mistakenly identified as belonging to a pliosaur called Polyptychodon. In 1903, paleontologists found fossil osteoderms initially thought to be from the armored dinosaur Euoplocephalus, but further discoveries of osteoderms, vertebrae, ribs, and pubis bones revealed that the fossils actually belonged to a large crocodilian, not a dinosaur. In 1909, W.J. Holland officially described and named the first species of Deinosuchus as Deinosuchus hacheri. Over the years, more Deinosuchus fossils were uncovered, leading to further research and a better understanding of this reptile's appearance and behavior. Dinosuchus reigned as an apex predator in the warm, subtropical climate of North America during the late Cretaceous era. This period was characterized by flourishing ecosystems and a diverse array of life forms, including deadly dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. The warm climate had a profound impact on various aspects of Dinosuchus's biology and behavior, contributing to its impressive size, unique feeding habits, and preferred habitat. As a cold-blooded reptile, Deinosuchus relied on external heat sources to regulate its body temperature. The warm climate with higher temperatures and abundant sunlight provided ample opportunities for the crocodile to bask in the sun, keeping it active and agile. The ancient waterways of North America were a tapestry of interconnected river systems and vast rivers, forming an intricate maze-like network. These water bodies provided an ideal habitat for Deinosuchus, offering an abundant supply of water sources and an array of potential prey. The reptile's preferred residence near the water's edge allowed it to take advantage of the rich diversity of aquatic life that thrived in these environments. Despite its tremendous size, many paleontologists believe Deinosuchus was a semi-aquatic creature that could walk on land but spent the majority of its time in the water. Its powerful limbs and muscular body allowed it to move gracefully through the water, making it a formidable aquatic predator. These fantastic discoveries have shed unprecedented insight into the presence of an incredible species that once ruled the prehistoric waterways. Dinosuchus was a very large crocodiliform that had a set of strong teeth built for crushing prey, and its back was lined with massive hemispherical osteoderms. Estimating the Deinosuchus's size was a little difficult for scientists because of the fragmented nature of the fossils. Based on reasonably accurate reconstructions, scientists think the reptile would have been about 26 to 33 feet long on average and might have weighed between 2.5 to 14 tons. Their average size varied from one species to the other, and the largest specimen ever found reached lengths of about 39 feet. Based on the possible maximum size estimate of the Deinosuchus, it was probably the biggest crocodilian that ever lived and also the largest carnivorous archosaur. This terrible crocodile possessed a remarkable secondary bony palate, enabling it to breathe through its nostrils while keeping the rest of its head submerged underwater. This advanced feature, along with Procolis vertebrae, can also be found in modern crocodilians, showcasing the species' evolutionary adaptations for aquatic life. The back of Deinosuchus was covered with unusually large and deeply pitted osteoderms, some taking on a roughly semispherical shape. These unique osteoderms served as attachment points for connective tissues, creating a robust, load-bearing structure to support the massive body of the Deinosuchus out of water. Recent studies have revealed more intriguing details about Deinosuchus. It possessed banana-sized teeth, a broad skull, and elongated heads that ended in a bulbous tip adding to the fascinating complexity of this ancient apex predator. Deinosuchus has been found in various locations, including 10 U.S. states and northern Mexico. 
It was present on both sides of the Western Interior Seaway, and its fossils are most abundant in the region of Georgia, near the Alabama border. All known specimens of this massive reptile date back to the Campanian stage of the Cretaceous period, with the oldest examples living around 80 million years ago, and the youngest around 73 million years ago. The distribution of these fossils suggests that Deinosuchus may have preferred estuarine environments, and it has been considered a significant component of a distinct biome in late Cretaceous North America. As the top predator of its era, Deinosuchus ate a variety of animals. It skillfully preyed upon creatures that dared come too close to the water's edge. Deinosuchus was believed to have hunted large dinosaurs and marine turtles. The possibility of interactions between Deinosuchus and dinosaurs is one of the most intriguing mysteries surrounding this species. Although there is still no concrete proof, scientists have discovered bite marks on dinosaur fossils that uncannily match the size and shape of Deinosuchus' teeth. These exciting discoveries suggest that interactions between this massive crocodile and dinosaurs were not an unusual occurrence. The feeding patterns of Deinosuchus varied depending on its location. In eastern North America, the smaller Deinosuchus was an opportunistic feeder, consuming marine turtles, large fish, and smaller dinosaurs. The larger Deinosuchus found in Texas and Montana may have been specialized hunters capable of capturing and eating larger dinosaurs, possibly making it the apex predator in that region. The crocodile's impressive size and strong jaws allowed it to easily overwhelm and eat even the strongest prey. Its huge teeth, some measuring up to a foot in length, endowed it with the ability to crush bones and capture large prey with ease, setting it apart from any modern-day crocodile species. A groundbreaking study conducted by paleobiologist Gregory M. Erickson revealed that Deinosuchus had a mind-boggling bite force of up to 23,100 psi, 102,750 newtons, even exceeding the most recent estimates for the bite force of the T-Rex at 12,814 psi, 57,000 newtons. These discoveries demonstrated the jaw's exceptional strength, which made the Deinosuchus one of the most deadly predators of its era. Studies on the growth rates of Deinosuchus showed that it grew at a pace similar to modern crocodilians, but over a much longer time. Each Deinosuchus may have taken over 35 years to reach full adult size, and some lived for more than 50 years. This slower growth allowed it to witness several generations of dinosaurs. However, the accuracy of the growth rate assumptions depends on the analysis of growth rings in Deinosuchus specimens, which may be influenced by factors like prey migrations or climate variations. If the ring cycle was biannual instead of annual, it might indicate that Deinosuchus grew faster than modern crocodilians and had a similar maximum lifespan. Deinosuchus, like many other prehistoric species, eventually went extinct. The actual causes of its extinction remain unknown, and various factors, including shifting environmental circumstances, severe competition, and varying prey availability, have been theorized as probable contributors. The legacy of Deinosuchus lives on in the pages of Earth's ancient history, an emblem of a bygone era filled with wonders and enigmas. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the video.